Do you know which famous celebrity started his career in stand-up comedy and then later soared on to acting? Many celebrities have done this. They've started in something that they like and then later have moved on to something that they really love and have grown to enjoy. Today I'm only going to talk about one person in particular though. Hello everyone, my name is Raven Turner and today I will discuss with you the childhood, education, and career achievements of Martin Lawrence. I literally love this man. I've been a fan of his for as long as I can remember and I'm 20 years old now and I've just about watched any and everything that had anything to do with him. I just I just really love him. Um, I've been um, I'm an expiring actress um, but right now I'm going to school for nursing but you know he's just one of my uh, role models is at the top of the list and I really adore him so it's an honor and a pleasure for me to speak on his behalf. Here's what I can tell you about him. Martin Fitzgerald Lawrence started his life April 16, 1965 in Frankfurt, Germany. He was born to parents John and Claude Lawrence. Together the couple had six children. A lot of people may have done some research on him but one question that I must answer People want to know why Why was he in Frankfurt, Germany? He doesn't have an accent. I mean, what does it come from? And I'll tell you, his uh, father was in the army. And, uh, of course, that's where, they, that's where they were stationed at. Some years later on down the line, you know, his father just up and left. And his mom had to pick up three jobs in order to hold the household down. And, of course, the kids didn't like it. Um, when Miss Claude Lawrence came home, she was tired, she had just beat from work, she was upset, she was angry, but I mean, who could she take her anger out on? She can't take out on the kids, she has to, you know, be a role model, she don't want the kids to see her down. And of course, Martin didn't like that. The second to the oldest child, um, he, by being that close up in age, he figured, hey, I, I've got to do something. And when she would come home from work, uh, he would say something, do something, anything, just to put a smile on her face, and it would work. He was such a class clown. Um, but when he was old enough, he got a job at a local grocery store, and he was a bagger there. Just bringing in some extra income to help his mama so she wouldn't have to work as hard. And, you know, for a while it worked, but, you know, his she his mom, Miss Claude Lawrence, she wanted his school to come first, so she's like, hey, you know, Leave that job alone. Focus on you right now. I've got this. I'm your mom. You know, I've got this. Lawrence attended um, Thomas G. Pullen School of Creative and Performing Arts. There, he became a Mid-Atlantic Golden Gloves contender, and he was very good. He was very good, so good, actually, that he actually thought about making a career out of it. Unfortunately, he encountered a black guy. And that made him reconsider his whole boxing career. <laughs> Later, um, you know, he decided, hey, since I'm so funny, might as well, you know, do comedy. He was, like I said, he was a class clown. And um, he had one teacher in particular. He would always act up in class. And, and the teacher promised, hey, I will give you the last five minutes of class to do your own little stand-up. If you promise not to disrupt my class anymore, and he did it, you know everybody thought he was he was already a cool guy. Everybody thought he was really funny, outgoing. Hey man, this kid's gonna be something, and so that's what he did. His comedian career started um, after a move to Denver, Colorado. Uh, he started by telling jokes at the legendary Kingswood Comedy Club, and uh, he was so good. And again, you know he he was just so good. He uh, he won a top spot. Later moved on to uh, his own spot on Star Search. His breakthrough role came, um, it, was, it was in a, a Spike Lee film. Yeah, it was in a Spike Lee film um, called Do the Right Thing. After uh, Do the Right Thing, just that, that basically, like literally opened up the door for him. Um, after Do the Right Thing, he um, he starred in uh, House Party one and two. He was on the he was on his Bad Boys career that was one and two. Then you know he was doing so good he had his own self titled TV series called Martin. You know and um, Roscoe Jenkins 
um, just a lot of other great films. Um, after so many uh, years of great success, he he met a lovely woman, um, and he married the former Miss Virginia USA, uh, Jasmine Page, in 1995. Um, unfortunately, only after one year of marriage, the couple, um, they got a divorce, but, uh, the good thing that happened out of all this was the fact that they had one beautiful child together. Her name is Jasmine Page Lawrence. And, um, so, you know, after the divorce, he decided to work on himself, uh, work on his career, and, you know, to be a better person. Uh, in the midst of all that, he met another, um, gorgeous young lady. Her name is uh, Shamika Gibbs. Uh, you know, they had a 14-year boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. And so, you know, he after being together for so long, he decided to put a ring on him. So he married her yet again. Only after two years of marriage, the couple separated. They just got a divorce last year. Um, together, they had three children together. Um, you know, and, and, and he didn't let that get him down, you know. Um, but according to AceShowBiz.com, Lawrence has been nominated for 14 awards. Um, he's, he's won five. These awards include the BET Comedy Awards, uh, Outstanding Actor. He even got an award for the NAACP um, and the Teen Choice Award. Throughout his uh, extremely funny and talented career, he has accumulated over $110 million worth of success. That's a lot. That's really good. But in today's society, he's, he's most best known for uh, his role in his own TV show called Martin, which still is a big success and a big hit as of today. It still comes on today. You know, and um, as you can see, from his little, this little synopsis of, you know, his childhood, you know, little education and his career achievements, a lot of his success and hard work and determination is, has really reflected in today's society. Everyone looks up to him. He's very well known. Um, he still has a TV show that comes on. And currently, as of right now, he is working on the new Bad Boys number three. And that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Um, so once again, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, and this concludes my presentation. Thank you.